isolated. Biden suddenly severs ties with Meghan and Harry as warned that Obama attacked by Sussexes. Joe Biden appears to have been warned against linking up with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as senior voices in Democratic circles fear for the Sussexes' relationship with Barack and Michelle Obama. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did not attend Barack Obama's 60th birthday party this weekend and an expert claims their absence is because the former U.S. president and his wife disliked the Sussexes' attacks on the royal family. Questions were raised after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex did not attend the former U.S. president's 60th birthday party over the weekend. The two couples are believed to be close and it was thought Harry and Meghan, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, would be on the guest list. Barack Obama celebrated his milestone birthday in style on Saturday night, with hundreds of A-listers attending the former U.S. president's £12 million Massachusetts mansion for a night of cocktails, live entertainment and gourmet cuisine. Guests included Jay-Z and Beyonce, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg and George Clooney but Meghan Markle and Prince Harry failed to attend the star-studded party. It is not known if the couple were missed off the invite list or declined to attend but an expert has claimed their absence could be due to their recent public attacks on the royal family. According to The Telegraph, some in Democratic circles have suggested the Sussexes' apparent copying of everything the Obamas have done since leaving the White House could have jeopardized their relationship. This would suggest Mr. Biden, too, may have been warned against linking up with the Sussexes, not least because of his close friendship with the Obamas. Harry and Meghan have signed a Netflix deal like the Obamas, and the Duke is writing his memoirs for the same publisher as the former U.S. president. Camilla Tomini, associate editor of The Telegraph who specializes in the royal family, has said family values are particularly important to the Obamas. She noted that Meghan and Harry's recent sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey may have isolated the couple. She said, so it arguably will not have gone down particularly well with a couple that have always put family first to see Harry and Meghan being so openly critical of their royal relatives during their Oprah interview in March. This is supported by an insider, who implied Mr. and Mrs. Obama were not a fan of press interviews. They told the newspaper, the Obamas didn't like Harry attacking his family. They value family and certainly aren't the type of people who would want their children talking to the press. In a further suggestion that the couple disapproved of Meghan and Harry's two-hour interview with Oprah, Michelle said she hopes the royal family will be able to resolve their differences as there is nothing more important than family. During an interview with Access Hollywood, the former first lady said, My hope is that when I think about what they're going through, I think about the importance of family, and I just pray that there is forgiveness and there is clarity and love and resolve at some point in time because there's nothing more important than family. The Obamas are known to have had a fond relationship with the Queen and other senior royals, having met several times when the couple were the President and First Lady of the U.S. from 2008 to 2016. In 2011 the couple were invited for a state visit to the U.K., where they stayed at Buckingham Palace. During this time the pair met with several senior royals, including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Queen and the late Prince Philip. British Queen Elizabeth has arrived at Balmoral Castle, Scotland for her summer break and received royal welcome there. The 95-year-old monarch received royal welcome upon her arrival. In a small ceremony outside the castle gates, Her Majesty inspected a guard of honour formed of the Five Scots, Balaclava Company, 5th Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Also present was the Royal Regiment of Scotland's mascot, Shetland Pony Lance Corporal Cruachon IV. The Balmoral Castle was originally built in the 15th century and was later bought by Queen Victoria in 1852.